It is Scotland's snow that provides the main attraction and draws holidaymakers like a magnet to the ski runs of the Cairngorm Mountains. Early on the crisp, cool winter's mornings, all sorts and conditions of vehicles converge onto the mountain road. From Loch Morlich, the climb begins and the snow appears. This is Christmas card land, and it even includes the reindeer. This area possesses the only herd in Britain. The nucleus came from Sweden in 1952, and it became acclimatized quickly to its new surroundings. And here's comfort for the skiing tyros. Even a reindeer has to learn to keep its feet. And still the skiers come, now deep amid the whiteness of the high mountain. A chairlift takes them nearly 1,500 feet up to the top of the White Lady, 3,750 feet above sea level. Fine day, you can see for an incredible distance. It travels over a mile. And on the way, you can look down on the early arrivals, knowing that soon you too will be joining in the fun. The central highlands of Scotland are a splendid setting for winter sports. At Glencoe, Glenshee, or in the Cairngorms, there are runs of 1,500 feet and over. Development of the area as a winter sports centre began only 10 years ago, but already others are being planned. The chairlift is an exciting way to reach the top. It's an experience which never fails to please however many times you do it. Or you can hook yourself to one or all of the three T-bar toes, a pleasant way up for the more experienced. And the cool swish of skis is the only sound of which you're aware. It has been said that skiing is like golf. The earlier you start, the better. Well, there are plenty of nursery slopes hereabouts for the little ones, and beginners of any age. The Spey Valley is one of the world's most highly developed ski areas, and that's a fact. Less than 20 years ago, if you'd wanted to ski here, you'd have had to climb for hours to get to the top of the Cairngorms. There were no ski lifts at all. Now, there are often as many as 5,000 skiers on the slopes in one day. There are enough ski schools, too, to make sure you can always keep on your feet, at least. Eh, hey, well, nearly always. There are a hundred expert instructors to show you how it's done. And they'll tell you that within a week from strapping on your first ski boot, you'll be coming down the mountain like a bird. If you're interested in records at all, not breaking them, that is, but the other kind, you can eat at the Ptarmigan, at 3,656 feet above sea level, the highest restaurant in Britain. Whenever they advertise for staff here, it reads, wanted pretty waitress, must be good skier or live in. It could be just a joke for the visitors, mind you, for they could always use the chairlift.
or perhaps if they were in a hurry, the snow trick. No cats, too. Not as agile, perhaps, as the little fellow, but they are the ones that bring fresh food to the restaurants every day. This one they call the White Lady Sheeling. It's just about halfway up. Believe it or not, they have haggis on the menu every day if you want it. You can get soup, steak, eggs, and chips, too, of course. Many of the sporting events are international. The slalom is always a big event, with competitors from all over Europe. 